Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we will see how can we make use of start date and end date to maintain the state of a record. In our last example, we had used a boolean column for the same purpose. So let us copy and paste our package which we have used for SD type 2. Let us rename this package as SD type 2 part 2. Let us edit the data flow task. Now let us reconfigure the SCD. So it will start the wizard. Now in this particular case we are going to use a different table part 2. So let us see what are the changes in that table. So as you can see this is the source table. And it has got two rows for one for Ramesh and one for Shyam. Now, this is our new table, part two. Okay, so let us see. So there are no records right now in it. Let us see its structure. So as you can see, we have the surrogate key of customer ID. And now we have two new columns, one for date activated and one for date deactivated. These two columns will indicate when a record was activated and when due to a new record coming in our table, when was this record deactivated with the help of the last column that is date deactivated. Now let us select this part two table over here. It shows us the two additional columns that is date activated and date deactivated. Our business key remains the same. Now our configuration for the columns remains the same. So historical attribute we have specified for yearly income and that is the most important. It defines this particular transformation to be of type 2. So we'll keep the options as same. Next. Now in this example, we will use the second radio button and we will specify in which columns we are going to store the start date and time and end date and time for the record. That is when the record was activated and when the record was deactivated or marked as old record. So this is the summary. Now as we can see the slowly changing dimension has reconfigured. So let us use it now. So let us execute the package. So two records were read from the source and two records were inserted into the destination. Let us verify it. So in our destination, we have got two records with customer ID 1 and 2 and for both the date activated is the current date and time and date deactivated is null which indicates that this is active record. Now let us do some more inserts and updates on the source table. Now let us see what changes we have done. So as you can see there are some updates on the first record for Ramesh. For the second record of Shyam only email ID is changed and four more records have been inserted. Importantly for Ramesh we have changed the income, yearly income. Now in destination there are still two records. Let us execute our package. So our package is executed successfully. Let us 
verify the changes at our destination table. So, in this destination table, now we have seven records, the four new inserted records. For Ramesh, we have two records and for Shyam, we have only one record. So, for Ramesh, as we had updated the yearly income, it has created a new record, the seventh record for Ramesh. Whereas, for Shyam, as we had only updated the email ID, it has not created a new record. So, friends, in this way, we can use the start date and end date to store the state of a record in SCD type 2 transformation. Thank you.